What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to take your disc games, games that you have on disc, and back them up to a fake package file so that you can basically run them without the disc or send a game that you've backed up to someone else so they can play it. Um, basically how to do that. So we're also going to do this with updates as well. So I have uh, an update installed for Call of Duty Ghosts, the latest one, version 1.20. And I'll, I have a video already on how to install normal updates for your disc games. Um, it was for 4.55, but it will work fine on 5.05. .05. Um, so I'll link that on screen and at the end of the video. But um, yeah, what we're going to do is actually back up the game and the update and then it, turn those into package files so that you can then install the game plus the update as a package file version so you can run it without the disk with the update installed. So let's go ahead and do that. So, so the first thing we need to do is head on over to the PC and plug in your USB stick and basically you want to make sure that you have a USB stick that is formatted in XFAT format or f not FAT32 because games are way larger than 4 gigabytes, so it will not work. Um, actually the individual files might but just to be safe, I would format it in XFAT format. So right click, format your USB, make sure you select XFAT as the file system and click start to start formatting your USB stick. So once you have it in XFAT format, you want to plug that USB into the PS4. Okay, so once you have the USB stick plugged in, you want to go ahead and run your disk game and wait for it to get into either the start screen or the main menu and just leave it there. So there we go. And at this point you just want to go ahead and press the middle button on your PS4 because you want the game to continue running in the background and then load up the internet browser or the user guide to access your WebKit exploit. You want to select 5.05 and run the dumper payload. You'll find this in the majority if not all of the uh, versions of this 5.05 WebKit exploit. Most of, the, most, of the, most of the sites that host it have the dumper payload. So what you want to do is just launch that and as soon as it says done, which it should say any second now if we don't get an out of memory error, there we go. As soon as it says done, press the middle button and go back onto the game. And then what that's going to do is it's going to start dumping the CUSA 00025, which is Call of Duty Ghosts, and it's going to start dumping it to the USB. The problem is if you stay on the, the web kit for too long, it tries to dump some other stuff, and I'm not exactly sure what, what it does, but it tries to do something else, which takes, you know, like five minutes, and then it starts dumping ghosts. Whereas if you quickly uh, press the middle button and go onto ghosts, or go onto the game rather that you're wanting to dump, then it will just straight away start dumping the game to the USB, which is what you want. Now, this is a very long process, because uh, it has to decrypt a lot of the files as well as dump them. Um, and you know it's it's dumping it to a USB at probably USB 2 speeds so it's it's going to take a long time so basically you can just leave your console running and you'll know when it's done because the console will switch itself off uh, do not have sleep mode enabled or, or you know hibernation or anything where um, the console goes into sleep mode after a certain amount of time make sure that's turned off uh, because otherwise that will screw this up so make sure sleep mode is turned off completely so it will never go to sleep out of inactivity and once it's finished dumping it will switch the console off and you'll know that everything has completed. Okay so once you've finished dumping and the console's turned off you can plug the USB back into your computer and as you can see it has dumped the app which is the full game and the patch which is the update for the game. And you'll also have this, which is just like to show the status that it's completed. It will say dot complete or dot completed if it's finished. It will say dot dumping if it was still dumping when you unplugged the USB uh, or it switched off while it was still dumping, which means it hasn't completed. So as long as it says dot complete or dot completed, then it has successfully dumped all the files. So what you're gonna want to do is just copy these folders onto a hard drive on your computer as I've done here. So you can see all the game files have copied over and all the patch files as well have copied over. 
So what we're going to do now is basically turn these into fake package files so that we can then install them through the homebrew enabler and run them on the PS4 without the disk. So in order to do that, we need the fake package tools. So we need the fake package tools. I'll link them in the description. And you want to run gen gp4. Click the button to browse for a folder. So then just select the game dump folder and generate gp4. And depending on the game, how many files it has, this could take a while. Normally it doesn't take too long for Call of Duty Ghosts, but other games could take a significant amount of time to process and add all of the files. There we go, so that's it finished for Ghosts. Then all you have to do is click Save GP4 and just save it into the same uh, location as your dumped folders. And then we're going to click the uh, Browse button again, and this time we're going to select the patch and do the same thing. We're going to generate a GP4 file for the patch and then we're going to go ahead and save it to the same place. And now we can create our fake package files out of these. These are just project folders for Orbis Pub Gen. So what we're going to do is open up Orbis Pub Gen also in the fake package tools and go to file open. Select the application first. We're going to open that one. And then we go to command project settings package just ensure that the passcode is all zeros you want the passcode to be all zeros just confirm that and then you can go ahead and build the package file then just select a place to output the package file to i'll just use the same location as the dumped folders and then click build and it will start building that uh, package file okay so there we go it's finished We've got our package file, our fake package file of the game created. So now we need to do the same thing pretty much with the patch files. We select patch.gp4 and we open that one. Again, we go to command project settings, patch. Now you want to make sure that the application package is has the right location in there. It should be set to the actual uh, game package file. So if it's not, then you need to select it. Make sure you select the fake package version of the game that we just created because that is basically telling the program that this is the the application that this update is designed to work with. So then we click OK and then just build our uh, update package file. Okay, so now we have both the game and the update as fake package files created. So we could now, you know, give the give these to somebody and they would be able to install them on their PS4 through the homebrew enabler or through Mira and they would be able to run the game with the update. Or or for ourselves, we can just go ahead and put these on a USB, which I'll do just now. So we'll go to our USB stick, can delete these now. And I will copy these two fake package files over to the root of the USB stick and then we'll go ahead and install that on the PS4 through the homebrew enabler and uh, yeah see if we're able to run the game with the update without having our original disk. Okay so there we go we've got our two package files now copied over to the root of the USB so I'm going to go ahead and unplug the USB stick and plug it into the PS4. So on the PS4 what you want to do first of all is delete the game because it's the same title ID, so it will most likely conflict when you install the package file version. So go ahead and delete the game. It shouldn't delete your save games or anything like that. It should just delete the, the actual game. But if you're worried about your saves, you can go ahead and use the backup payload to backup your save data. Okay, so now what we need to do is go ahead and enable the homebrew enabler to get the debug settings. So hen plus, or mira plus hen, Oh wow, this has just been updated. Didn't notice that before. Yeah, Mira plus Hen, so we'll go ahead and load this. Not enough free system memory. Come on. Run this time, there we go. So when it says you're all set, you can press the middle button and you should now have the debug settings showing up in the settings. So down at the bottom we have debug settings, then we go to game, package installer, and our two package files on the USB should show up. And we just start installing the first one, the actual game. Okay, so that's Call of Duty Ghosts installed. So now if I back out here, you can see 
that the game is installed and if we go to information you can see that the version is 1.00 so now we need to just install the update so we'll go back into debug settings game package installer and install the 1.20 update okay there we go so that is the update 1.20 installed just about there we go okay so let's have a look we'll go to information 1.20 let's start the game and it should run with the update installed we'll know because uh, call of duty ghosts extinction mode should be available from the menu if the update's installed the base version of the game does not have the option to start extinction so here we go save data corrupt interesting you you might want to back up your save before doing this then if you do have a save for your disc games there you go extinctions unlocked I don't think I had any save data on before though I'm not sure but yeah there you go you can see extinctions unlocked the version in the bottom right hand corner is 3.15 which is not the base version so yeah that's basically how you back up your disc games and run them from the hard drive without the disc as well as the updates and create fake package files from them so that you can uh, yeah have that as a backup that you can install whenever you want because we're because it's now installed as a fake package uh, game you have to run the homebrew enabler or mira plus hen uh, whenever you want to run the game but you can run it from the hard drive without the disc so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and i will hopefully see you guys in the next one